Hey guys, so this piece is in 6-8, so I would feel it in 2. So every time you have, that is the downbeat. So you have 2, 1, 2 in your left hand. So it'll go like this. I'm going to play it a little bit faster than probably what um, you're wanting to play it, which is fine. You can play it slower than this. Um, the main thing I'm concerned about with this piece is understanding 6-8 and the feel of it, not necessarily the tempo. So this is how it goes. So this is how it goes there. I didn't use pedal um, where I should have at whatever that is, 10, 10, 11 ish. Um, so you can do that. I would also encourage you to really look at your dynamics in this. So your left hand should always be quiet because your right hand has the melody. So if you have your left hand too loud, it won't sound right. So I would definitely make sure that you have the right hand louder. Um, and then you also have at measure like 18-ish, you have... So you are crescendoing through that with this repeated note. Um, so definitely crescendo that. So you have... except with the right notes. So I would do that. Um, so crescendo through there, and then you have a retardando, so you can slow down during that. So it's kind of a big ta-da moment right there. Um, and then right after that, you have a tempo, so you can go back to the... So this is kind of a fun little piece. Um, so practice it slowly before you practice it quickly. So when you play it slowly, I would go. So I would practice it that slow. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. It's kind of a tricky piece. Um, the nice thing about it is your left hand, for the most part, has the same two chords. You have your one chord, and then you have your five, seven chord. So those are the two chords. So if you have trouble going between those, I would practice that like this. Over and over. So it should get to the point where you don't even think about it. Um, so this is how you play this piece.